This year, I was honoured to um, coach Beaver Res once again. Um, we headed over to Pyramid Hill one hot Saturday, and I got over there and only had three to four players. Um, I thought to myself, gee whiz, I better round up some players or we won't have a team. So um, much, many thanks go to April Bird, who was watching the game, and she looked a little bit hungry, and I said, April, would you mind coming in and filling in? Um, as we all know, April's got a very busy social life, so she filled in when she could. Um, next cab on the rank, uh, Maya Mitchell, I knew, was coming home to watch most games, so I texted her and a couple of times said, could you come and play, and no, no, so I just said, yep, I'll see you next week at training, and she turned up, and once again, I... Um, went into Demi Mason and, and try to sell her, yeah, come and come and play. She's come back to the area and she hummed and hard and I was so tickle pink when she accepted. So that came, gave us um, nine players in the end. Emma Flight came in a little bit later as she was away at the time. So here we go with our vote count. Rightio, on our first game was against um, Kundruk Barham Raiders. It was a, a very hot day and we knew that April was going to run late. Emma was unavailable and Lauren was carrying an injury. So we had Georgia Bird fill in. So once um, April got there, we had a mother and daughter combination on the court and boy, oh boy, did Georgia make sure that April ran. We had a terrific game and we come out winners um, 73 goals to 27. One vote goes to Katrina Robertson, two votes go to Liz Mathers, and three votes go to Annie Palmer. So round two was uh, against Kerrang, and once again, it was a very hot day. Um, Annie was away, our young legs, so we had eight players. Um, our scores were 83 to 19. One vote goes to Maya Mitchell, two votes go to Liz Mathers, and three votes go to our, our captain, Katrina Robertson. Right, round three was a very blowy day against Wurunin, but quite deceivingly hot. The scores were 57 to 37. Vic come off in the second quarter with an injury, um, and April was away, so Maya had offered to be our goalie, but we went with Demi this week. So our votes were, one, Elise Mathers, Two, Katrina Robertson, and three, once again, our young legs, Annie Palmer. Four was against Mally Eagles. Once again, this was a very hot game at home, and the final scores were 66 to 45. Um, from memory, this is the only team that has outscored us in a quarter. They outscored us in the final quarter, but the damage was done. Um, the votes were one, Sammy Moon, who filled in for us as we had um, Vic injured. Two votes go to our ever-reliable ever Elise Mathers and three to our captain, Katrina Robertson. Yep. Rightio, round five was against Tintinda. Over the last few weeks, we've had very hot days, and I do know my two veteran players, April Bird and Katrina Robertson had said, I wish it was a bit cooler. Well, this day against Tintinda at Tintinda was freezing cold, blowing a gale. The final scores were us 67 to Tintinda 11. One vote went to April Bird, our, um, our worker, on the court. Two votes go to Elise Mathers, um, very liable goalie, and three votes go to Katrina Robinson, um, once again a terrific captain's game. This is round six um, against Tully Buck Manang, thankfully at home. Um, this week we decided to set ourselves a goal because we felt very flat against our game against Tintinda. So we decided we'd, we'd really keep the pressure on. The final scores were 95 goals to Tully Buck Manang, nine. Um, one vote goes to April Bird, um, our veteran player who's just so clever, does what she has to do week in, week out. Number uh, two votes go to Katrina Robinson. Once again, very lucky to have this experience running through the centre. And three, got, three votes go to Liz Mathers, who shot heaps of goals that day. She was well aided by the rest of the team, but it was a terrific effort. Uh, very pleased coach after this. So after round six, our leaderboard looks like Katrina Robinson on 14 votes. As I said, Katrina's... Um, 
has been playing a fantastic captain's game. She's had to learn to slow down and play and adjust to the players that she's got around her, and she's done that brilliantly. 12 votes goes, um, Lisa's on 12 votes. Once I said, probably the most accurate goalie um, at Kahuna at the moment, shooting very well. Six votes, Annie Palmer is on. Um, all I can say about Annie is fresh young legs. She runs and runs all day. Two votes go to April who, once again, I'll say that she works hard week in, week out, maybe not always noticed by the by the umpires because she's not flashy. She just does what she has to do. One vote, um, Maya's on. Um, it, we're privileged to have Maya. She's just so tall, just so strong, always wins her position. And one vote to Sammy Moon, who, when I said Charman Fielding, um, played very well. Round 10, we took the long trip to Bell Ranald. This week we were at, without Elise, who was injured. So Demi Mason put up a hand and, and um, went our goal shooter. So it was a terrific win with us having 68 goals to 24. You would not have thought that April and Demi hadn't played together. They were just um, superb together and played very well. So one vote went to Katrina Robinson. As I said, um, she controls the centre for us very well. From memory, she was on a, a fairly young girl that day um, with a snipper, but Katrina kept up. She slowed down the game when, when we needed it to be slowed down. Two votes go to April Bird once again, um, not flashy, but cer certainly does her job week in, week out, um, an unsung hero. And three votes goes to Demi Mason. Um, we've been playing her as defence and wing defence. Um, she put up her hand and said, look, I'll have a go, and she shot... Um, fantastically. You wouldn't have known that she's not a goal shooter every week. So well done, Debbie. Round 11 against Swan Hill. Um, this started out as a very good game. The scores were 70 to 23, but in the second quarter, um, a Swan Hill player was running and we heard like a gunshot and she'd done her killies. So there was no tears. Um, my hat goes off to her, she handled herself brilliantly, but that probably upset the Swan Hill side. One vote goes to Annie Palmer. As I said, Annie just um, runs all day, has got great um, hands, especially when the ball gets in the ring and you have to um, bend over low. She gets a lot of um, bounce passes. Two votes, once again, goes to Katrina Robinson and three votes go to Elise Mathers. She come back with a vengeance and shot well. Radio. This was our game against Lake Boga. Um, final scores were Kangas 49 to Lake Boga 36. Well, this was a very ugly win right from the onset. Um, it was hard yakka. We had um, April away and Vic away. So um, we had to make some changes and we were against a very good side. I think we, we found out that they had a few home from uni um, because they were about third, on, third last on the ladder and yet they pushed us all the way. Um, we lacked a little bit of height and a little bit of speed. Um, I did put Georgia Peace on in the, the last half just to give us that bit of height and speed. So that kind of went, um, that helped us out. So one was Elise Mathers. Um, she was on a very good defence and had to fight hard all day. Two was Annie Palmer. Um, Annie yep, um, won her position probably one of the only ones that did win her position on the day um, and just kept going all day and three votes to Katrina. She had to kind of talk, um, talk us up, had to play a captain's game, had to slow it down, had to um, feed the ball and do extra work because um, things weren't happening. But credit to Lake Boga, um, not taking anything off our goalies. Lake Boga had very good defences. This was a, ended up being our last game, unfortunately, and it was against Nai West United at home. Um, we started off and the final scores were 63-46. This was a very tough game. Um, the scores probably didn't do it justice. Uh, Nai and Nia West United were very strong, very tall, and, ha and played good netball. I think they ended up fourth on the ladder and pushed us all the way. Um, and we, we um, had to play very well to defeat them. One vote goes to Emma Flight. Emma didn't um, have a, a lot of games with us. She was unavailable a few times, but when she was on the court, um, her steadiness, her head um, was very valuable. She played a, a great game, and I'm sure if we had had finals, um, she would have been there and a, a good asset to us. 
who goes to Captain Katrina, once again, um, played played brilliantly, well, ended up being a warm day and she had to work very hard and three votes go to um, Elise. So um, once again, she stepped up, she played well. Uh, I think we had a change in goalies and she handled that change and kept going. So it was great to see. Well done, girls. Rightio, our final leaderboard was one vote, Sammy Moon. As I said, she filled in a game for us when we were short and Young Legs, uh, fantastic. She played uh, a brilliant game. Uh, one vote to Emma Flight. As I said, Emma's experience, cool head, would have been um, great for finals if we had have had them. One vote to Maya Mitchell. Maya did put up a hand to go to goals, but we ended up putting Demi in there. Um, Maya, I loved every position that I played you in. She's so strong. Um, she is so tall. Um, she had a great year. The votes just don't show that. Three votes went to Demi Mason. Demi come back um, and decided to play again this year, and she was my Miss First Toll. Um, I moved her up from one end of the court to the other, which I don't usually like doing, but we needed to get that done. And um, Demi had a smile on her face every week. So well done, Demi. Four votes to April Bird. Very pleased that April got um, four votes. She's our veteran. Um, starting to get a bit sore towards the end of the season, but um, she never say die. Great team player, um, often come off in the last quarter if she'd um, got a bit sore, a bit tired, um, and always plays for the team. Nine votes to Annie Palmer. As I said, Annie had a brilliant um, season. She just ran all, all year um, and reads the ball once it gets into that um, goal ring beautifully, especially if it's a bounce pass or something, and he's just like lightning, so quick. 17 votes to Lisa Mathers. As I said, probably one of the most accurate goalies probably in our league, I'll, I'll say. Um, it's a credit to her, and that's why we had such good wins, was because um, Elise, once she got the ball, most of the time it was in. And 22 votes to Katrina Robertson. As I said, Katrina was another one of our um, veteran players. She um, was our captain, so a terrific year by her. Congratulations goes to Katrina Robinson, our best and fairest winner on 22 votes. Also this season, Katrina was our captain and she was a terrific captain. Um, it proves that if you train hard, you play well. Katrina is one of um, our best trainers in the club. She always gives 100% at training. Um, she, she had to adjust again, um, coming down through grades. You've sometimes got to um, adjust to the players you've got. They not always can handle the hard ball or you've got to slow the ball down or it can't go so, so far. Uh, Katrina was always on for a long bomb. I didn't mind one in a game or two. Um, and if it didn't work out, she used to kind of look across to me and grin. So um, as I've said, she's been a terrific captain. Often I've had to say, Katrina, let's let's slow down the, the um, quarter and she just do what I wanted. Katrina, let's get some toes to the goal ring. And away she went. So a well-deserved winner. Well done, Katrina. Congratulations to our runner-up, Elise Mathers, on 19 votes. Elise has been a past player and has come back to the Kahuna Kangas, and it was great to have her. Elise is one of our most accurate shooters in the club. And once again, if you practice, 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 they'll go through the ring. Elise was dedicated all year. Um, she just lacked a little bit of confidence towards the start of the year and it just grew and grew. She's got lovely long arms and height and I'd love to see Elise step up to a higher grade next year. Have confidence in yourself, Elise. Well done. This year I've chosen um, Debbie Mason to be the coach's award. I love all my girls, love telling funny stories about them, but I was just so happy that um, Debbie decided to come back to the Kahuna Kangas once she moved back into town. Um, she, I did chase Demi fairly hard. Um, she probably dreaded me um, seeing my face, but in the end, I got a text one Sunday morning said we've got her. So I was very pleased. Demi um, rocked along, had a smile on her face, trained hard every week, and she was my versatile player that I moved around the place. Um, it was just brilliant to see that smile. She used to come off and say, "I don't care, Kaz, wherever you're going to put me." So we had her as um, a keeper goal defence, wing attack, wing defence and goal shooter and goal attack. And um, Demi, towards the end of the year, you wouldn't have known that you haven't shot all year round. Um, you could play with April, you could play with Elise and it was great, great to have you. I've been wanting to coach you for quite a um, 
long time because I've watched you come through the ranks as a junior and this was our chance. So I hope you've enjoyed the, the season as much as me, Demi. Well done. Rightio, this just gives a little bit of a wrap up of the season. As you can see by our scores, um, we were undefeated for the year, felt that we could give a premiership a red hot go, very looking forward to it, training hard, and it wasn't to be. So um, it was one that slipped away, but it happened to it to um, all the other grades too. I'd just like to have a quick word about each player. So Elise we've probably covered. She played goal shooter nearly all season and done it brilliantly. Next was April Bird. And once again, I'd just like to thank April for filling in for us. She was away a couple of times. Um, due to prior commitments, and we did notice you when you were, when you were away, April. Um, you are getting sore towards the end of the season, but your determination was still 100%. Pleased to have you for the year, and sorry we didn't get that premiership for you. Um, we attack was mostly Victoria Gator. Poor old Vic, she started the year um, with an injury, um, with health issues, and it wore a knee, hurt herself, and then come down with um, a chest infection, etc. So it probably wasn't one of the best seasons for Vic. Um, we still enjoyed having her, and she's been lucky to have the last the last two B reserves. She's played in the Premiership sides. Uh, centre was Katrina, and what more can I say? Terrific captain, terrific game, um, terrific year, terrific person. Wing defence, we played Maya there, and we attack. Um, and we played her as goal attack. Maya, um, you're probably the one, that, the dry one of the team. We don't get much out of you. Um, when there's usually a smile, if I can say something sarcastic to you. Um, yep, I really appreciated you filling in because you're a big part of the team. And yep, as we say, 100% goalie. Well done, Maya. Wing, another wing defence um, or a person that I moved around a bit, I mentioned was Demi. She played wing defence. She played... Uh, goal defence and she played goalkeeper. I can remember the first game I lined her up as goalkeeper. Didn't really know where she played best and I was standing there thinking, my girl, this goal, this girl is a goalkeeper. Next week I had her somewhere else. So thanks Demi for moving around and being such a great player of the team. Um, the goal defence was mostly Annie Palmer. She didn't miss a game that she was unavailable for, but um, Annie just loved your long, your fast feet um, you're a pleasure to coach, always had a smile and always gave your best. Um, and yes, you did play very well. Uh, next, mostly was I moved um, Lauren Spence around. She was uh, locked lots of time, wing defence, goal defence or goalkeeper and Lauren could play any of those. Um, I played her in keeper a lot. I just felt like she was our backstop of our team. Um, she ran, ran that goal ring. And I think um, Lauren, with her maturity, maturity, um, she will be our next one of our next captains. Um, she had a terrific season. The votes probably didn't show that, but she had a lot of people that took them off her. But um, I was just very impressed. The only thing is that Lauren's a cackander, a lefty, so they always look unco. Next, we had Emma Flight. Um, Em kind of started the season. She was unavailable for a few games, just not long had a baby and took a fair time just to get a bit of match fitness. But Laura, um, Emma, as I said, you were uh, um, an asset to the team. Um, I thought, yep, yeah, you played fantastic. Um, and yes, should have, um, would have been very handy in the finals. So that's our rundown of our team. Um, next, I'd like to thank um, Sandra McKenzie, who was my assistant coach. When I become coach, you get two for the price of one. Um, Sandra's always there. Um, she's my stats lady. I hate stats. So I don't take any notice of them. And I yell and scream all day. Sandra's the, um, the silent one that just whispers in my ear if something needs to be done. Um, she's good cop, but compared to my bad cop. Um, and levels me out. So um, once again, Sandra, a terrific season. And yes, we were robbed. Also, I'd like to thank our team manager, Lisa Holmes. Lisa, um, very quiet person, unsung hero, but most of the season turned up on those freezing cold training nights. She didn't need to. She didn't really have a, an official title, but she, she always gave out the bibs every week. Um, she stood in for Sandra when she was away and a lot of um, trainings. She had to be an extra player in our drills or um, extra player when we'll, we'll, we'll play in a game. So, Lisa, 
Um, I can't thank you enough, so thank you. I'd like to thank the club um, that enabled me to coach this year. I've enjoyed it all. As I said, it's a shame that we couldn't play finals. I'd like to congratulate the first. Um, it's been a long time since we've ended up on top, and I'm sure you would have taken out a premiership. And um, Katrina had a double whammy. Her under 16s were also um, undefeated. So it could have been a fantastic year with premierships, but um, it still was a fantastic year and enjoyable year. So I'd like to thank everyone that's done jobs around the, the club and all our unsung heroes that just do our jobs and we don't know. So once again, thanks for having me as coach.